Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to make some tasty Angus beef brisket sandwiches. We're gonna smoke it low and slow on the trigger, and you're gonna love it. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Glad you could make it here and uh, spend a few moments of your busy day hanging out with us and watching us uh, do some cooking. So as we mentioned, we're gonna make some delicious fresh beef brisket sandwiches today after we go low and slow on the Traeger outside and smoke this uh, beautiful Angus kosher beef brisket up. No artificial flavors, no artificial anything in here, although it is pre-salted and uh, so we're gonna go really easy on the rub, something that doesn't have a whole lot of salt in it and I think it's gonna be a job for Uncle Steve's shake. Now, before we get into the details of how we're gonna cook this brisket, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Helps us out, helps us with the ranking. Doesn't cost you a thing. This Angus beef brisket is kosher. It's deveined. You know, I didn't think there was any veins in it, uh, but it is soaked and salted. Uh, it's all natural, minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, no antibiotics or added hormones. I've honestly never cooked a kosher brisket before, and this is gonna be a first. It's small enough to cook for a lunch or a late lunch, but we are gonna go as low as slow as possible on that trigger, because I still want to have that, that true barbecue experience and get that as tender and as much of that fat rendered down as possible. All right, guys, as you can see here, it, uh, I think it was tucked under here because it seemed to get a little bit larger uh, after I unpackaged it. Packaging was really thick, really tight, really good quality here, as you can tell. So definitely got the veins running this way. That's really good to know. It's almost the shape of a tri-tip, but obviously it's not. I'm just gonna leave this fat on here. Now, we're gonna go with this competition pig powder. Why am I gonna put this on beef? Well, like I said, this has been soaked in kind of a brine, kind of a salty solution in here, which I've wiped off as best I could. I'm not gonna rinse it. I'm just gonna, I just patted it dry. The competition pig powder has some really nice citrus and sweet notes to it, and not a lot of salt, at least not to me, and so that's why I'm gonna use this. Plus, I love the color, so let's get busy here. Okay, guys, there we go. So I'm gonna let this set up a little bit while we go outside, set up the trigger. All right guys, I already know, you guys know how to set up your Traeger. I don't need to tell you that. We've been through it before. All right guys, that's all there is to it. Onto the Traeger. I'm not even gonna put a wireless meat thermometer in there because I'm gonna be using my Thermopro instant read thermometer. I'm not even gonna look at that brisket for at least three hours. I expect it to probably be around 100 degrees by then, maybe more, we'll see. But I'm gonna go up to the standard of about 205, 206 until I take it off, so we'll have to wait and see. Right now, it's about 9.30 in the morning. I'll keep you updated. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a look at this uh, brisket here. Now, first thing I wanna do is, is uh, check that bark. It's got a little bit of a bark here, and uh, it is not coming off, so I like that. That means I could start mopping it. Now let's check the temperature here. Okay, about 155 there. Real flat area there. Interestingly enough, it's cooler, 147, and this little fat guy right here. Let's see how he looks, 157. Okay, so that being said, Instead of spritzing, I'm gonna be mopping. And you guessed it, I'm gonna be using some of this tallow. I've even put some fresh uh, garlic in there. And uh, the tallow, I went ahead and kind of melted down, warmed up a little bit with that garlic in there. And I'm just gonna mop it here. Really gently, just kind of mop it on. There we go. I'd say that looks pretty good right there. Okay, I'll just set that aside. Check it back in a couple hours. 
Hey guys, it's been about three and a half hours now. Went through a little tiny stall, probably around 160. I've mopped it two or three times with the tallow. The bark looks beautiful. I'm really happy with the color. So since this isn't any kind of Texas brisket, and we're just doing this for some delicious sandwiches later today, I'm not gonna wrap it. I'm just gonna let it go right on up to about 205, and then I'm gonna take it off. All right, guys. I took that brisket off about a half hour ago. It definitely got up to about 200, and then I'm letting it rest inside the oven right now, but uh, it's only been about a half hour. I think that's all it really needs, and I'm gonna take it out now and get ready to make a sandwich. Now, to make this sandwich really pop, stick around because I got something special, and no, it's not my usual Japanese mayo with shirata sauce. That's gonna go on one side of the sandwich got something even better. Look at that beautiful color. Now I'm going to get this out on the cutting board. Okay, there we go. Now this is beautiful. Now I can still kind of see the grain. It's kind of going long ways here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut it right about here. Give you guys a little look. See here. is I'm gonna cut it up nice and thin because I wanna make sandwich meat. Okay, so that last little sauce there was a surprise. This is called Romesco dip. Now, Sassy got this at Trader Joe's. Um, it's uh, described as a bright and zesty Spanish-inspired sauce made from roasted red peppers, my favorite, tomatoes, and crushed almonds. You could use it as a sauce or a dip. In this case, Romesco kosher brisket sandwich getting ready to kind of fall apart, so I gotta be careful here. Mm. That Romesco dip just adds a punch. And I really like that Japanese mayonnaise with the sriracha, and of course, toasted buns, essential. Can't forget the chips. Okay guys, again, if you wanna get some of your own Romesco, this one's mine. Check it out. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Glad you guys could stop by again. Please, if you like this, if you like what we're doing here, hit subscribe. It really helps us out. It doesn't cost you a thing. And be sure to do the thumbs up, guys. Comment down below.